Hey guys, what's up? Timmy J Tech here, and welcome back to my channel. In this series, I'll be showing you how to create your own idle clicker game in Unity. As I've explained in the other episodes, you will be able to click on an animal to earn money and then buy upgrades so that player can use auto clickers. In this episode, I'll be showing the last main foundational component of any idle clicker game, which is the auto clickers. This will allow the user to purchase upgrades that will round up the animals for them. For now, the animals will spawn on the screen in a static position, but soon we'll get them to move and be more interactable with the player. Before we go creating the script, let's set up our canvas so that it's ready for us. Right now we have background elements, UI elements, and then our animals. We're going to want to add new UI elements, so right click on UI elements and hit UI, button, text mesh pro. Alright, now that we have a button here, we can drag it wherever we want. I'll put it right down here and make it a bit bigger. And you can obviously change the color of this button. I'm not going to do too much with it just yet, but I am going to change the text so that it says by auto roundup. We can make that bold, maybe make the font size a little bit bigger so that you can actually see it or even change it so that it's a little bit more pixelated for us. It's good for now and it should work once you click on it. It is a button. We can call this auto round up button. And then we're also going to want to create a new UI text mesh pro. It'll say how many times you've upgraded your auto round up. So in the text, we'll just say X and then we'll say uh, probably zero. For now so once they click on it it'll add one to this counter and we'll want to center it make sure that all this is correct and we'll name the text auto round up text and we can just call that title no worries all right now that we have all of our ui elements we can close that all right and let's create the auto roundup now open your scripts folder i'm also going to rename the auto click manager to auto roundup open it up and since i did rename it i have to change it in the file as well auto round up manager all right i'm going to edit this file so that it is more usable just get rid of the start method and we will use the update method so i'm going to keep that for now um, just keep it down below the variables and we are using text mesh pro as well so i'm going to import the tm pro library we have three variables one is going to be a list of auto clickers. The second one is going to be the auto clicker price. And then the third will be the actual text. To make the list, we'll say public list and we want floats. So we'll say some floats in here. We'll call this auto roundup equals new list. And that's a float. The next variable will be a public integer and we'll call this the auto roundup price. And last we'll have the public text mesh pro UGUI and this will be called the quantity text because it's the quantity of how many uh, auto roundups you have here in the update method we're going to want to loop through each auto clicker and make sure if it's time to click on that auto clicker and then we are going to loop through each auto clicker to do this we'll use a for loop and I'll say int i is equal to zero. And we'll say, well, i is less than the auto roundup dot count, because count is how many is in this list float, how many auto clickers you have. Then we'll say i plus plus, so it will loop each time through this, making i is one, i is two, i is three, for however many auto clickers you have. Now we'll say, is it time to click? And if so, we'll say time dot time is minus to auto roundup at i because we're saying here at zero or at one or at two, but only if it's greater than or equal to one. So we'll do that and do the brackets. And inside here, we're gonna want to do the click. So we'll do auto roundup at i is equal to time dot time. And each time we do this, we're gonna wanna do damage to that animal. So we'll do animal manager dot instance Dot damage. Head back into your game and you should already have added the script under the game manager. We can just click that to on now. We have not set a price, but we can set the quantity text. So I'll do that right now. And I'll say it costs five to buy a new roundup. And then that'll help me catch all of these animals. All right, there's one more function that we're gonna need. This will be called each time they click the button, which will actually buy that auto clicker and take their money. We're gonna want a public void on buy auto roundup. 
the first thing we're going to want to do is check if the player has enough money to do this we'll want to say if the game manager dot instance dot money is greater than or equal to your auto roundup price so if you can't afford it then it won't even run what's inside this but if you can't afford it then we're going to want to take away the money and add an auto clicker so to take away the money we want game manager dot instance dot take money and we'll want to just put the auto clicker price so that it'll take away how much it's worth and then we'll also want to do auto roundup dot add so then we add in the auto clickers and we'll pass in time dot time so we have the time of that auto clicker lastly we'll just want to update the quantity text so we'll say quantity text dot text is equal to x because we have the x uh, zero and then we'll want to say plus the auto roundup dot count and we'll also want to say two strings so that it can actually display it in the text there and uh, that's it we've completed this file so we can save and go back into unity make sure you check for errors if you have any errors then make sure you go back and look over your file but if everything worked out you should be able to click on your auto roundup button click the plus here drag and drop your game manager and then we're going to do the auto roundup and on by auto roundup is the function so it'll always call this when you click that button now save and hit play click on the chicken to earn some money now we have 15 and then we get a little bit more now we have 35 and if i actually buy an auto roundup it's going to use that function to now round up that chicken and i can buy more and it will do a little bit more now because now there's two so it's gonna go boop, boop, a little bit maybe another one so now i have three auto clickers you can tell one two three one two three they're not at the exact same time so it'll actually go right after you bought it so i bought it and now it'll be when i bought it a second later you can also change the variables so it's not so fast i just want to show you how it works and it can be pretty smooth so now we just got to make them run away from the barn which will make their health bar go up and then once you start to round them up then it'll go down or um something like that and then they'll end up here and they'll disappear so they should have a plan of action and this is where they start so then they're running out but then as soon as they come back then they should disappear and we can even make it so that this world is a little bit longer so that they can continue to run you know if we have like faster animals you're gonna want to like be super fast and catch them and that's why the auto roundups will be pretty useful for that and i've already made like 500 dollars. look at that so you definitely want to balance this make sure they don't have too much money coming in and then such cheap auto purchasers because it can get pretty crazy pretty fast but there you have it we have some auto clickers now the three main components of any auto clicker are in our game and now we can control different aspects of our game to make it better for the user i'll definitely want to improve on the animals as well as maybe making the barn interactable or expanding the world if you're enjoying this series please drop a like i'll have more content coming soon so stick around but thank you all for watching and have a nice day